What's up, Internet? I just finished watching Fault and Catch Fire on Netflix, but I'm based in the Philippines and that show is only for US subscribers. I did that without having to pay for a VPN, to log on to a VPN, and without having to configure any complicated settings. All of that magic happened because of this little guy, Deeper Connects Pico. Not gonna lie, I was a bit skeptical at first, but the Pico is simple to use and the thing just works. First things first, the brand sent us this item for review but had no say in what we had to say about it. VPNs have been around for a while. You pay a monthly fee, all your internet traffic gets routed through the VPN, and it's sort of like in the spy movies where if someone traces your traffic, it gets traced to a different country, not the country you're actually accessing the internet from. So to access Netflix shows which are only for US subscribers, your internet traffic would need to appear to be originating from the US. VPNs can do that. Being able to spoof where your internet traffic is coming from is useful for journalists, whistleblowers, and basically anyone who's interested in privacy. But I've never been a fan of VPNs because of three things. One, you need to pay a monthly subscription fee. Two, there's possible slowdown because that's another layer your traffic needs to go through. And three, there are a lot of VPN services out there that it's difficult to figure out who to trust. There are some dodgy ones out there. And with all your traffic being routed through that VPN, you don't want to make a mistake. With all of that in mind, enter the Pico. One, with the Pico, there is no recurring fee. Buy the hardware and you can use it forever without paying anything else. Two, I experienced no slowdown at all with my normal internet activities and only a slight buffering slowdown while streaming when I enabled routing through the US for my internet traffic. Three, the Pico works without any logins or credentials. It's decentralized. So you don't have a central VPN that has all your information, information which could be hacked if the VPN is not secure or sold if the VPN is kind of dodgy. The Pico avoids all of that. Lastly, the Pico also blocks ads, trackers, and serves as a firewall. So this little guy does a lot, but more on performance, does your internet speed slow down? Not at all. When I was doing my regular activities without any routing, my IP address was showing as from my home country, all my normal internet activities were fine. There was no discernible slowdown in streaming or browsing or gaming. In some instances, you will even have faster browsing because Pico disables ads and tracking, which sometimes bogs down other sites. I did not tell the other members of my household that I had installed the Pico and yet none of them noticed. None of them complained that, hey, suddenly the internet is slow. When I did use the routing feature, say to watch a Netflix US show, there was an occasional slight buffering at the start, but this was very slight and it immediately smoothed out. Installation was very simple and consisted just of three steps. One, plug the Pico into your modem, then plug it into your router, and then finally plug it into the power outlet. So all traffic passes through your modem, then into your Pico, and then into your router to your larger network. Once a Pico powers up, it takes care of everything else, establishing essentially a bridge between your modem and your router. There are two options for masking your location, and you will need to go into the Pico's OS via the browser. You can set all of your traffic to originate from a particular country or you can set traffic from specific domains to appear from specific countries. So for example, set the Netflix domain to appear as US traffic but all of your other traffic still appears as local. The configuration of the software is not as plug and play as the hardware, although it is simple enough that even inexperienced users can be talked through it without a lot of anxiety. The Pico can be used in three ways. The first one is, as I already mentioned, sort of like a gateway between your modem and your router. Ways two and three require the Wi-Fi adapter. You plug the Wi-Fi adapter into the Pico and then you plug the Pico into your router. This establishes a separate Wi-Fi network distinct from your usual Wi-Fi network. So you have traffic flowing through your modem, into your router, it gets passed through your network, but the Pico's own Wi-Fi network is also being fed data from your internet connection. You can then log on to the Pico's Wi-Fi network and then enjoy all of the protections of the Pico while you're using that network. The last way to use a Pico is to have it connect via Wi-Fi to another Wi-Fi network. Say you're in your school library, so connect the Pico via Wi-Fi to your school's Wi-Fi network and then connect to the Pico's Wi-Fi network. You'll be using the data from your school's Wi-Fi network but enjoying the same protections, ad blocking, firewall, geo-specific location provided by the Pico. The Pico is quite small and discreet and clad in aluminum and it looks premium and legit. 
It comes with all the wires you need to connect to the router and to the modem as well as its power brick. All in all, a very impressive looking package from a relatively unknown company. Not gonna lie, I was a bit skeptical of all of the claims for this small guy. But to my pleasant surprise, the Pico is legit. It does everything that it claims to do. You no longer need to pay for a third-party VPN service with a monthly fee. Installation is straightforward and hassle-free. Deeper Network has a growing family of related hardware for the internet and, and since I've been very impressed with the Pico, I'm now curious about their other products. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puwa na to. Hindi, joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.